Now he just got you and his heathen ass mama, man. Yeah. It said verse uh, 31. But what king going to make war against another king sit him not down first and consult him whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that come up against him with 20,000. Hey, and that's that's what my cousin that was telling me that, that went back like, I can't do this. That's what that cousin did. He sat down and said, wait, you going against the white man? You got to go against the white man and the government and all that? Nah, I don't know, man. He got some shit. I was like, yeah, but we got the most high God. We got God on our side. Who can, who, if God be with us, who can be against us? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can deal with it. But he, he said so like, he sat down and count the cost on that. Like, I, I can't do it. Nah, this dude got some shit, man. I just want some shit where he, I just want some shit where he just came and laid down the village with the firing squad. I, you know, I see all kinds of shit that he's doing online. He's bugging people. He's tapping people. Destroying your credit, this, this, and that, starving people, you know, putting them in prison falsely and executing them and torturing them. I can't, I don't want to go through that. Like, All right, but you don't go through that anyway for not choosing the Heavenly Father, who's the only one that can get you out of that. But okay, I'm not, I can't change your mind. You have to be persuaded in your own mind. You do what you got to do. It says. That was the exact analogy right there. Uh, or else. While the other is yet a great way off, he sent up an ambassador yeah. and desired conditions of peace. Hey man, before you come and destroy us, I need to go and humble down. You know, we just a peaceful town. We just farmers and merchants, man. We ain't even warriors like that over here. Though you had an army, and, you know, we don't want to all get slaughtered, man. We'll just go on and, you know, what I'm saying, if you want a piece of our land, that's cool, man. Just take that piece, man. Just leave us alone over here. Matter of fact, you want us to move? We're going to move over to the south a little bit over here, and you just go on and take all this. It's all good. Just don't kill us. But that's the bitch way out, by the way. Bitch. Or if you look at it flip flopping, that's the most high coming far off, and you know you need peace. So you go on and make your peace with him, so you can get what you gotta get done. You know? You already, like, that's kind of how it was for me. I saw, I can battle with this. Cause the brother was like, hey, watch this video. I sat down and watched maybe two hours worth of videos back in like 2007 or whatever. Watched a couple of videos of the elders. I was like, oh shit, okay, but I gotta go do some wickedness. Let me go make some money. I gotta go do all of this, this and that. And, and when I was going to do that, on my way leaving, the cop came across and crushed me. Crushed my vehicle. And nearly killed me if I didn't move. The spirit didn't have me move my car two feet forward. He crushes me. And I die. Right? But I counted the cost. I sat there and said, you know what? If he had down there killed me now, because I, I sat there a week and a half trying to figure out, was it the most high God that damn near tried to kill me, or that was just chance? And then the brother showed me a couple scriptures where then I, when I sat down, just like this, that's how the spirit worked back then. When I sat down, he instantly showed me that, like the scriptures came up, that the most high do with everything. That it, there is no chance, there is no uh, uh, coincidence. That was one of the first lessons I saw. I don't know if the brother seen it and had it cued or not, but that's one of the first things I saw. All my questions were answered directly as soon as I humbled myself to sit down. And then after that, I saw far off, like, yeah, whatever, I'm humble to whatever the Most High God's doing. Whatever he say goes, man, I'm going to try my best to be humble to that. And that's the right spirit, Lord willing. That's the spirit you got to have in this thing, man. And I'm doing the right thing. Lord willing, I'm doing the right thing. That's the spirit you gotta have in this thing, man. You gotta be subject to whatever the Most High does, good or bad. The fiery trials that come upon you, deal with them, take them cheerfully. You know, when something, when something good happens to you, humble down and, and thank the Heavenly Father and pray, man, that that, that, that blessing be used to, to spread the, the joy and the work of the Most High to the best of, of your ability, as well as to build you up and build others up, man, the spirit. It says, so likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he have, he cannot be my disciple. Well, if, you don't, if you don't give up everything that you hold value to in this world to do it for the, for the true Heavenly Father and all the, 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 uh, all the hard work and studying and all that that comes with this word and persecution and, and, and trial and tribulation that come with this, and you can't be the disciple, man. You can't, you can't be a part of this thing. 
You got to take it all cheerfully. You got to take it all cheerfully. There's no other way around. This is, uh, this is a rock. This is it's a rock, too. And two. Matter of fact, we start at the top. My son, so rock two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. That's right. Don't try to rush out of nothing, man. Don't try to, when you when you're going through some shit, man, sit back and take it and try to learn what the purpose of it is for. And if you can't find a purpose, it may just be to try your spirit that you wave or not, and that you don't have, that you don't doubt that the Heavenly Father is doing something good to you. I like to go through infirmities, believe it or not. That proves to be the Heavenly Father. Hold the slot, hold that. Go to, uh, Hebrews 12 or Corinthians 12? Corinthians 12. About the chassis. Hebrews 12. Come. With that, we're just going to run a couple of places and we'll go right there. Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, yeah. and scourge of every son whom he receiveth. That, that's how you got to look at it. Uh, when, the, when the Heavenly Father bring you through some shit and make you go through some shit, you got to thank him for that. For, for, for dealing with you, for scourging you, and trying to correct you, and chastising you, because you need it. Because it's only going to make you better and build you up, and that he's worth it. When he stops, when things, like right now with this dude now, he's probably living it up, making money for what the word on the street sound like. You know, when you living it up like that, in a good way now, um, that's when you got to be worried. The Heavenly Father ain't dealing with you no more, because he chastened his sons, who he loved See, so, notice that pattern. When you, if you, if you in this and you catch, you catching hell, right? You gonna catch your afflictions, but the Most High also gonna give you blessings every now and then. Yeah, you gonna, he gonna keep you through, sufficient, yeah. right? He gonna, he gonna keep, keep you in that middle line, man. Right. Now, but when you fall out and you actually start prospering and actually living good, that's how you know the Lord is not dealing with you as a son anymore. Man. Right. That's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know. So the hell that you was catching when you was in, if you eating good now according to what the word on the street is, then the most high, he's he, he's he's turned his he turned his he turned his, he turned his back to you, man. Get uh, apart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You, you. you in the world. And once you go into the world, ain't no coming back. Hey, ain't no back coming here. back, man. Back. Ain't no coming back, man. Yeah. It says. If you endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. Uh -huh. For which son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? Yep. But if he be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. Well, the Most High don't love you if he's not chastising you and building you up, getting you ready for what he's got going, showing his affection with tough love. He don't love you if he's not chastising you. You know? Yeah, yeah. You can keep going and you can stop. I'm going to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, shit. I'm going to keep going. The next uh, verse. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them the reverence. Gave them respect. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and much, live? Should we much more? Be uh, humble to the, to the Heavenly Father, the Father of spirits, and live, the Creator of all, and live. Because that's what it takes. That, that, you know, when you serve to Him, you take all that chastisement and that, that trial and tribulation and, 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 uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, persecution. That's what He deals with you. That's what He suffers with you. That He wants you like that. He wants you in that humble spirit reverencing him, not just your father of the world, or your parents of the world. Because he'll use them people to try to pull you out. He's trying to use my father to pull me out. But but he, my father was smart enough to realize, uh, I'm not going to win this one. I got to let that go. You should just stop doing it. Stop. This, this woman you're dealing with, you should stop being with her. Why would you tell me to do that? I understand what she's about. She's for this season. The one I was dealing with back then. 
It says, for they verily, for a few days, chasten of us after their own pleasure. But he, right, but he, for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Yeah, that we may be partakers with the heavenly Father's holiness. Being separate with, with, with the heavens, with, with he of the heavens. You know, fuck man, being a part of this world, we can be separate with, with him of the heavens. Yeah. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous. Yep. It seems to be good. Like like back when you get back to the world, the problem you start prospering, right? It seems to be good. It seems to be joyous that you're not getting chastened, right? Continue. No, but this is saying now no chastening for the present time, meaning seemeth to be joyous but grievous. When right. you in, when you serving the Lord in the present time. Of course, it's not going to be joyous of right. you catching all that hell that you're catching. You know? Right, right, right. And but the other but, side. But it says, nevertheless, right. afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Right. And now, the opposite side of that whole coin right there is for you that's in the world and that's not getting chastised, it may seem good to you right now that you're not getting chastised, but it's going to be grievous for you later. In the time of, of those the elect being saved and you not part of that being saved, that's what's gonna be grievous unto you. Yep. And so it's both of those. Both sides. Like for person. the elect it's a good thing for the for the two-thirds, the, 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 the joyous now that you that you're not getting chastised and things going so good, but later it's gonna be bad. Either way, you gonna catch it. And, and, and it will behoove you to catch it now when it's not as grievous as it will be but the repercussions and consequences ain't gonna be as bad as it will be later. Because when you catch that grievous uh, chastisement uh, that, that, lead, that the elect don't catch it, they get out of, you know, that continues over into the kingdom of heaven. But but all the grievousness that we have doesn't continue over into the, to the kingdom of heaven. We can all join in, in a higher position when it comes to the kingdom of heaven. This is uh, Sirach 11 and 25. In the day of prosperity, there is a forgiveness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. Yep, when you're going through whichever one, you don't remember the opposite. You don't remember when you went, when, like, like right now, that dude's prospering right now, he good. And so to be that yeah, he's his car known, his rent great. paid up. He's doing he got all the fresh is good now. Right. He gets his, 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 his deals or his rides or whatever with no, with no problem. Everything's joyous and all of that. Pros, pros, he's prospering. He don't, he don't remember that. He just got evicted less than a year yeah, ago. He was just catching hell. He, he was just catching all this hell. Him and BM was bumping heads. His, uh, his son was going through, you know, problems and stuff. He get time with all of that. He don't see that he was going through all of that. But on the other side, what did it say on the other side? Oh, when 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 you were, when, when he was going through that, he didn't realize that there was going to be a better time coming. When he was going through all them afflictions, he didn't realize that there was going to be a better time coming. And that now, even if it's no at no other time than the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be that much more better in the kingdom of heaven. But the Most High is, 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 uh, is our Father. He loves us. So He's going to throw you a bomb and ease up on you a little bit. He will just test you for the moment. He's going to take the pressure all the way off, but He'll ease up on you and let you get that gas for air from you know, trying to keep your head up on water. Let me read it again. In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. And, right. that, and now that you you got to taste the both sides now. Now you on the other end. Now that day when the Lord get ready to destroy you, you gonna you gonna forget about all of the the, 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 the prosperity that you did after yep. you went through the affliction. Yep. You gonna be back in the affliction when the Lord be about to put that 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 destruction on your ass, man. And on a personal note. All the things that brought you into this truth is just gonna happen to you. All the fears that you had when you when you was coming into truth, those things is gonna happen to you. All the things that you know, I cried about my children. But the things you cried about your son and being able to save your son, the things gonna happen to you and your son, man. And it hurts me to have to, to point it out to you. But that's the truth, man. That's the truth. That alone should have kept you coming out doing the work, not being a, a, a deceit.
receive you and, and, and coming out doing the work. Whether it's here, Dago, where the fuck you was at, man? You should have continued in this thing. It says, for it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say that one more time. For it is an easy thing what? unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. Well, guess what? In the day of death, guess what? In the day of death, and this is what we hope for, in the day when all, all flesh is being killed, or two thirds of the flesh is being killed, we hope we're of the elect, where he can redeem us and build us up and not let us see death, and you that deserve death, you just gonna knock y'all, wipe y'all out. I ain't talking about that end Like, he's out picking individuals of the elect, but of the two thirds, he just corrupts y'all, he just sweep them through. It's an easy thing for him to sweep through and just to knock you off the box. And this is even going into those who are wicked as hell, and they think that the Most High ain't gonna do nothing about them. Right. Like they just gonna, the Most High just gonna prolong their life. Yep. They gonna prosper. They that gonna goes live. Esau, that goes to Esau, two thirds. two thirds. These heathens. Yep. They think that they gonna continue, and and that's that, man. Like yep. the Most High ain't seeing everything. Like, uh, it, like you don't have a day of of, of, a, of an end. Yeah, like, like like your day ain't gonna come. Like your time to die ain't gonna come. That's some point. This is verse 27. The affliction of an hour make up a man for his pleasure. <laughs> and in his <laughs> end, his deeds shall be discovered. Yep. In the end, because of that same hour, what's gonna happen? The elect is gonna get beamed up. At the end of that hour, the, the, the rest is gonna get burnt up. You know? Matter of fact, get a Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter. Fucking mercy, man. Man, perfect. This is Jeremiah 12 and 1. Righteous art thou, O Yahweh. When I plead with thee, yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doeth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are all they happy that deal very treacherously? The wicked are happy that they are able to go day by day doing the wicked shit that they doing without getting judged. Being a bunch of reprobates, man. Exactly. You know? And then those that used to be a part of this thing, and you in the world doing God knows what that you know you ain't supposed to be doing. You know, mm -hmm. you 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 think that the most you the most I gave you up to a, a reprobate mind. That you think that you don't have that day where the Lord is gonna judge you. Everybody gotta meet that judgment seat. Right. Everybody on the earth gotta meet that judgment seat of the heavenly Father in that day, man. Right. And if it wasn't for us having the spirit of the Most High God upon us to come out and do that, to give us an opportunity to have those, those uh, sins that we should be destroyed for, yep. blotted out, we would be destroyed as well, right along yep. with you. Yep. But, he, but he told us that he would blot these out. For the elect, man. He gonna yeah. blot out the sins of the elect. Everybody else, they gotta live they gotta with, with that with that tab, man. Yahweh Shai, he 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 had a tab that he had to pay. He had, he he walked uh, in the in the flesh, perfect, and still had to sac uh, get sac get get judged and, and, and sacrificed for the for the for the uh, the sin the sins yeah, of the elect, he man. Had to get his stripes too. But he had to get his beatings because of his past lives, man. Right. You know, he had to make appropriation for his sin for, for for his sins his own sins. And, and, and the elect, man. That was that was his purpose. That's right. And, and that's in Hebrews, just so you, because I ain't trying to speak out of the side of my mouth, you know what I'm saying? But that's just, Hebrews it's just to bring a point. Right, Hebrews the seventh chapter. 27. Huh. Now it says, Thou hast planted them, yeah, they have taken root, they grow, yeah, they bring forth fruit, they are near in their mouth, and far from their reins. Talking about the wicked. Thou, but thou, O Yahweh, knowest me. Thou hast seen me and tried my heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the day of slaughter. Yep. So, so that's all you wicked that's gonna come upon you. That's all you wicked that are prospering, man. It's gonna come upon you, man. You know? Let me go to uh 
Ecclesiastes. Eight. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sins against an evil work is not ex executed speedily, therefore the heart of sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, you're going to continue to do evil because you don't think that day is coming. But guess what? That day is coming. And you're just running the tab up more and more and more. Yeah. And a lot of y'all think that, um, and, and know what? He's allowing you to run that tab up. Why? Because when that tab is, is to be paid, you want to show his true power of what he, you're going to respect and fear him after that day from then on until all generations after that point. Because right now, you don't. So, so in that day, he gonna let. First off, he gonna let you tab all that up, run the tab out of control, and then they gonna like like they're in the mafia, right? You, you go to the mafia bar or restaurant or whatever, you run that tab up too hard, and you ain't paying that money back. Guess what they gonna do? They gonna take you out back. You ain't just gonna do dishes. They gonna break legs and break hands and fingers and chop chop knuckles and whatnot. But the same thing with the Most High to warn you and to warn everybody else to not fuck around no more. That's what the most high gonna do to y'all. Hey, and think about it like this. Those that have uh, been partakers of this oh. and actually uh, left, fell out and left and went back into the world, you have an even great, that much more of a greater tab that yep. you have to pay for it now. Because yep. you knew all the wicked shit that you did in the world before you came in. Uh -huh. Then you came in and then you got acknowledgement of the truth. Then you went right back and went and, 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 and fell right back out. Is that in Peter 4 that you started over in that part? I was talking about that. You said, uh, I look, I look, just continue to You know? You, that, that's an even greater, that's an even greater tab than, than those who didn't even know about this in this sin, okay? It says, um, that tab. tab is hella great, man. You gotta pay dearly for that, man. First, first Peter 4 and 3. For the past time of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you walked in all that sin and all that bullshit that you were doing before you came into this knowledge. You know, so that's enough. That's enough. That suffices. That's a, you've done enough in just that amount of time. Yep. You know, once you cross over past that line, or you or you go back across that line, back into doing more sin and iniquity, guess what? You got a heavy tab to pay. Heavier than, than those that just continued on and never stopped and learned what they were and were not supposed to do. That's why the scripture said, they that know it's gonna be beat with many with many strikes. It says Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which which fear it before him. Uh -huh. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. It's gonna be well with, with those that fear the Most High, as many days as they possibly can upon upon this earth. But for you that that, that don't fear it, it's not going to be well with you at the end. He's going to make you pay that heavy tab, man. That tab is, is, is weightier than you can than you can bear. But you're going to have to bear it because you done built up that much sin and iniquity that that, that you got to pay that tab for. What do you mean, Mr. Mafioso's hey, Godfather? So I only have a, a $200 in my name, but you owe 50 grand. Hey. You're going to pay 50 grand somehow. It's going to be double because when you when you came into this thing, your sins were already wiped out, all your former sins. But guess what? When you fall out, when you, when, 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 when you when you put this away, and you just go about into the world and, and, and just <laughs> refresh yourself into all this shit, man. Not only you got to pay for all the former sins that he gave you a clean slate for, yeah. but you also got to pay for this 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 big sin right here. To go, uh, most I hate Now you gotta pay for. Now you gotta pay for playing with this. A man that that returned it to his own vomit. No, 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 no. Another way of saying it. When the God returns to his own vomit, what was the other? A man. Oh, it's an Ezekiel priest. A man turned turned back. It's an Ezekiel priest. Right. Continue what you had on.
Should be right here. Right here, right here. Salah, Salah. Again, when a righteous man do, do turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay stuff on God before him, Salah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, it's Ezekiel 3 and 20. Again, a righteous man do turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he hath, he shall die, because he, because thou hast not given him warning, you know, that, but that was the point, when a man turned back from his righteousness to wickedness, uh, to wickedness you know, he shall die. Most I gonna kill you for that, man, in a very painful way. I'm putting it together with something else, but that was the point. This is uh, Sirach 5 and 3. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will, will, sh will surely revenge thy pride. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. Yeah, you're not going to escape that time, man. Especially when you came out of wickedness into righteousness, and then went back into wickedness, away from righteousness. You gonna have you got a heavy tab to pay. The only way you could have got out of it is if when you turn from, from wickedness to righteousness. That was the only way to get out of it. To repent. That was the only way. Hey, cause you had time to repent, man. A lot of a lot of dudes that fell, they they, they didn't have times where they could have got it right, man. Yep. But they chose to to, to to go the route that they went, man. Right. You know? Now it's different if you you, you you had a shortcoming and you you kinda, you know, you slipped. Yeah. You know, stumbling block came upon you. You didn't sin. Yeah. You know, you didn't have stumbling blocks, but you repent and you come back for that. That's that's what that was with uh, with the elect, man. We all didn't have to, you know, it's a lot. If we, Lord willing, if we had that number, we all didn't have to have that point in time when we didn't, you know, we didn't slip or yeah. in some way or, 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 or form, you know. Yeah. But for you to actually make that particular move. That step and actually say the hell with this truth. I'm leaving. You slipped on purpose. You slip on purpose. You ain't no coming back for that, man. You basically deny the heavenly Father and His Son when you do that, man. Right. And the Lord gonna deal with you. You know. Yeah. You say the hell with the truth and go right completely back into the world instead of repenting and, and getting yourself right and getting your faith up, man. Yeah. Still more. It says concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Uh huh. Building your tab up, man. Yeah, man. Be, be, be. Uh, make sure you have fear yep. that you're not building your tab up too high, man. That you're trying to not pay some of that debt off. Yep. It says and say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude yeah. of my sins. Uh, God, God know my heart. Ain't nobody perfect. He know I'm all right. He know, he know why we do what we do. And don't say that, man. Act like he don't know. And try to do your best to, 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 to not have him mad at you on any of that side. To clean up all your mistakes as much as possible. So, so a little bit. It says... Come. It says, for mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation rested upon sinners. Uh -huh. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. I'll tell you this, man, there's been days where I put certain things I was supposed to do on studying or whatever else. Most of fuck me up between some small them. I've had days where I'm like, all right, as soon as I do this, things will get better and I you know, oh damn, something else came up. Okay, I got a few minutes to do something, but I didn't do it, I do something else. Right? But most of the more I procrastinate and put it off, guess what? I done had when people in traffic didn't almost hit me. And I had nothing to do with it. Just people coming out of nowhere, people just just being contrary to my life, seemed like my spirit just threw out life. 